1.35 p.m. are calling to order the meeting of the Commission on Diversity Awareness for the City of Flagstaff. I'm Deanne Wegward, I'm the chair and I'm here. Dan Duke, Commissioner Duke, are you here? I'm here. Claire Hardy, Commissioner Hardy. I am Mandy. here. Wonderful. Uh, Commissioner Mandy Gebler, not today. Commissioner Marcella Pino. Uh, Marcella has a planned absence today. Okay, C Commissioner Jean Toner, not here today. And Commissioner Christine Tucci. I'm here. Wonderful, thank you for being here. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera so that we don't have uh, trouble with people being tuned in. Um, we have a slightly um, shorter agenda today, which will be somewhat helpful. We're gonna start with our um, mission statement and land acknowledgement. Our mission statement is that we are commissioned to foster support, respect, awareness, and appreciation of diversity among all citizens of Flagstaff. And our land acknowledgement is that the Commissioner on Diversity Awareness humbly acknowledges the ancestral homelands of this area's indigenous nations and original stewards. These lands still inhabited by native descendants border mountains sacred to indigenous peoples. We honor them, their legacies, their traditions, and their continued contributions. We celebrate their past, present, and future generations who will forever know this place is home. Um, the next thing on our agenda, let's see, is upcoming, upcoming opportunities and announcements. And I think there are a couple things already printed on our uh, agenda. Um, Jessica, would you mind addressing the things that have come in? Perfect, yes, thank you so much. So the first is that our housing section shared the uh, print ready uh, final version of the 10 year housing plan. Um, you can click on the link here. It'll take you to that final version. Um, and also they wanted to pass along an opportunity for those interested in signing up for the mailing list where, uh, you know, updates on the plan as well as other housing related news. Um, you know, commission members can click here on the agenda and go ahead and sign up if they're interested in further updates. Excellent. Um, and then this update was provided from Commissioner Toner, um, or I should say Vice Chair Toner. Um, just wanted to give a shout out to the um, amazing range of offerings that the Creative Flagstaff team um, for the month of June um, on their calendar. So again, you can click on that link and see the full list there. I know we're nearing the end of June already, which is uh, crazy, but uh, she just wanted to give a shout out to the Creative Flagstaff team. That's great, thank you. This is the chance for commissioners to add any other announcements. They're not items for discussion or anything to take up any length of time particularly, but if you have things to share that you'd like for the rest of the commission to know about, now would be the time to announce those kinds of things. Does anyone have anything to say? Okay, not hearing anything. We can move on to public comment. Do we have anyone here for public comment today? Don't believe we do. Um, okay, so, um, that leads us to approval of minutes. We actually have two sets of minutes to consider. Um, our last monthly meeting was on May 17th. Um, and then we had a special meeting on June 7th uh, for the purpose of um, the region discussing and uh, providing input for the regional plan. And uh, we can entertain the discussion of these 
minutes together or separately or whatever you'd like to do. Does anyone have any um, changes or additions to the minutes, uh, to the uh, draft minutes that were sent out? And thank you, Jessica, for those minutes. You put a lot of work into that and I really appreciate it. Is there a motion for approval of the minutes? Um, this is Commissioner um, Hardy. Um, I'd motion to approve the minutes. Um, are you uh, moving to approve both sets of minutes? Just to clarify. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> okay. Unless we wanted to go go through them when um, meeting I think by meeting. I think but, we can um, do it this way, that we can just um, cover both of them together. I don't know of any rule that says we can't. Okay, so we have a motion to approve um, the May 17th and the June 7th minutes. Is there a second for that? This is uh, Commissioner Duke, I second that. And a second, all in favor? <coughs> Aye. 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 And Walter evidently is waiting. <laughs> Anyone opposed? Oh. I don't think there are any commissioners opposed. So minutes are approved. And again, thank you, Jessica, for that. Um, the date of our next meeting is uh, July 19th. And uh, on the agenda, it says time to be determined because it actually is part of our agenda today to talk about our meeting date and time. Um, I'm not sure if we want to um, consider the date of our next meeting now or talk about it with our meeting date and time discussion. Um, I, I'm inclined to say that we should hang on for just a little bit and uh, see where it goes with uh, deciding to keep the Tuesday date or or not. Is um, anyone got any thoughts on this right now? Everyone's kind of <laughs> quiet today. Um. Sorry, I, this is um, Commissioner Hardy. Um, could you just clar clarify what it was um, that you were asking just now, if we should keep the Tuesday time or, or were you asking if we should discuss it later in the meeting? Oh. Sorry, I just, I, just, um, I just didn't quite um, catch what you had said before. Let, all right, let me, let me, you're right, I was not clear. <laughs> let me restate it. At this point in time, our next, uh, the date of our next meeting is scheduled for July 19th. And I guess what I really should do is just state that and say that later in our agenda is um, a discussion of our meeting date and time. And so as at this moment, the July 19th date is what is on the calendar, just so everyone knows. And um, when we get to the discussion of the date and time, we may elect to change that. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, um, I'm I'm just homesick today, so I'm not well, quite a hundred percent like with it. But well, no, that well, makes total sense. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think I was completely unclear, so I really appreciate your asking. Thank you for that. Um, so we we'll just oh, go sorry, ahead. everybody. So sorry. Here I am. I'm so sorry. I'm, I missed the beginning. Who's who's speaking? I'm sorry. Oh, Jean, did you join us? Yes. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're here. Um, so thank you for, for joining us. We, I was just saying that uh, at this point, July 19th is the next scheduled date on our calendar for a meeting and that it is in our uh, agenda today to talk about meeting date and time. So before the end of our meeting, that may or may not change. But right now, that's what the calendar says. 
So there we are. Um, which brings us uh, to action items, uh, action items, which is number eight on the agenda and transition uh, commission leadership roles. And Jean, since you're here, um, I don't wanna put you on the spot, but I wondered if you'd be willing to um, kind of introduce what's going on with this. Um, would you mind? I wouldn't mind a bit. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, I, uh, I, as vice chair, I am in line to uh, process forward to the chair position. I don't feel like I'm really up to that uh, responsibility right now because of some health issues have, that have come up. So uh, what I would like to do is go ahead and finish out my uh, term as vice chair. And as we go ahead and think about uh, who would move into the chair position, we'd actually have uh, two elections. We would actually have an election for a new chair and an election for a vice chair. So whoever um, might be thinking about this, um, I, I just I would just encourage uh, encourage folks to think about you know going ahead and serving as as uh, not serving as vice chair, but just jumping into the chair position uh, through our elections, and also be willing to attend um, our leadership meetings that happen once a week, once a month a week after our uh, regularly scheduled CODA meeting. And the leadership um, format is new. It's something that Chair Wegwert started, which I think has been very helpful. We meet with uh, our liaison, Jessica, and um, review the agenda, and it's brought a lot of kind of order and organization to the process, um, and, and just more, um, procedural um, kind of integrity, I guess. So it's been very, very helpful. So whoever um, uh, is interested in serving uh, as chair and as vice chair, we would encourage both of them to be willing in the month of, we'll have the elections in July. So that would mean August and September, two months of leadership uh, meetings. They only last less than an hour. It's not a huge time commitment, but it's focused and it brings organization to the, you know, uh, to the processes we bring to the commission. So um, that's all I have to say. And I will remain on the commission, of course, um, I just don't know that uh, this is the time for uh, for me to be in a leadership position. So um, anything else um, that you want me to address? No, that was that was very helpful. Um, and uh, so what just to recap what Jean is saying that ordinarily we would be having um, an election in July for a vice chair and Jean would ordinarily be moving into the chair position. But because of this particular circumstance, we're actually gonna have an election for both chair and vice chair in July. Um, and uh, would like to ask all of those of you who are not in the chair or vice chair position to be thinking about your willingness to perhaps serve in a leadership role because we will need uh, some leadership people, we do. Um, and, uh, so that, uh, is, is about the transition on commission leadership roles. I don't think there's anything else to say about that action item. Um, we aren't asking for nominations right now, uh, but at our next meeting, we will need to take care of this. And, um, so if you have interest in being in a role, you can nominate yourself, you can nominate another person on the commission, um, but, but next, next meeting will be uh, elections. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments about that? Okay. My only comment is, um, yeah, that's really awesome that the meeting with the li liaison prior for anybody that's interested in this role, I think that's going to be a, a great asset to anybody that decides to move forward with this. 
Yeah, it's, it's been, I think, uh, helpful because um, sometimes, um, you know, it just, it gives us a chance to think about organizing the meeting while we're not in the process of actually having the meeting. And uh, just uh, on a personal level, that's been useful to me uh, to kind of have a way uh, or a chance to organize the, the topics and so forth ahead of time. So that's been really good. Um, so kind of related to that, should we talk about uh, the code of regular meetings? Uh, there are several, okay. uh, Jessica, I'm sorry, I didn't notice you had your hand up. I apologize. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to point out to we um, work together, the um, current chair, vice chair, Wegwer and Toner, myself um, on the helpful notes um, for whoever is interested in a leadership role. Um, so they're not uh, maybe like fish out of water. You know, there's a little more comfortability and transition. Um, this is meant to be a resource document. It's in the agenda. It's also located on our website. Um, it, so if you go to our website here, um, you should find hopefully um, at the bottom here some helpful notes. And this is really for all members too. Um, but there is some specific notes about the, the leadership um, perspective. So any, with the, anyone with questions in the meantime, if you're interested uh, before, bef you want to commit to that role, feel free to reach out to me beforehand and I can talk through some of the specifics of the roles as well. Thank you for the offering that. I think that's really important. I also wanted to point out that for anyone who might be thinking about doing this, that um, before Dan Duke left the chair position, we intentionally shifted this so that the elections occur in July and uh, the person, the people assuming the new leadership roles then uh, take those positions. I, I wanna say it's October, is that right? It's September or October, but the point is that that there's a little um, bit of time so that, that they can kind of get ready and have a chance to ask questions and, um, you know, uh, kind of prepare to be in the role and not simply just get elected and then boom, next meeting, you're in charge. Uh, so, we're, we're trying to um, improve the process so that it's set up for people to um, have a chance if they wish to be mentored into the role and uh, learn about uh, the, the history of the group a little bit in terms of how things are done. So hopefully that'll be useful for all of you to think about as well. Okay, is there anything else anyone wants to add? Um, questions? Okay. So, code of regular meeting. Um, there are several bullet points under this agenda item. Uh, one of them says protocol for exiting the meeting prior to adjourning. Um, Jessica, I believe that means just making sure that uh, that if someone's leaving the meeting that we know, is that um, what that means? Yes, it does. Um, and the reason for that, thank you for refreshing my memory. Uh, the reason for that is that um, if the uh, a person, uh, one of the commission members leaves the meeting and uh, we're not aware, it, we're technically illegal in continuing the meeting if we don't have a quorum. And uh, this was much easier to manage when we always met in person because when somebody left the meeting, it was quite obvious. But now when we're in the um, midst of a discussion perhaps and someone you know, just is, is not wanting to interrupt but they have to leave um, it makes it harder to notice that someone has dropped off. And we want to make sure that we're in compliance with open meeting law by having a quorum at all times. Um, so my request is that if you need to leave the meeting, um, please draw it to our attention in some way. Uh, I, I think, you know, we avoid using the chat because that is... Uh, kind of communication outside of the meeting in a way. 
Um, but uh, raising a hand or, or interrupt, interrupting the meeting if you have to, so that, that I'm aware and uh, for the purposes of recording things that Jessica is aware of when you leave would be uh, really, really helpful and we'd appreciate that. Um, is there anything that anyone needs to add to that? Jessica, did I cover it well enough, do you think? You did great, thank you so much. Okay. Um, and then review the results of the email survey and discuss and vote on the new CODA regular meeting start time week of the month and day of the week. Um, were there results from the survey that we need to talk about? Well, about that, there are, but it only provides me an IP address. And since I don't know everyone's IP address, oh. um, I don't know who actually responded. Um, we did have three to. respondents, but I figured, you know, we were kind of looking at, okay, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, and either before noon or afternoon. Um, oh, how do I get to the results here? Um, so, you know, initially it does seem like Tuesday um, before noon. Um, part of this too is, you know, council meetings are Tuesday afternoons and those are consistent. So um, the council liaison, which, you know, thankful mayor's here today, but it makes it really challenging when there's an executive session, um, you know, and, and the council liaison wants to attend these meetings. So our thought is to either push it um, before noon on Tuesday, so just earlier in the day, or it looked like Wednesday was um, another option as well. Since not everyone was able to take the survey, I thought we could um, discuss either a Tuesday before noon or a Wednesday um, and then decide on a time. And then also, you know, week of the month is the third week of the month working for everyone. Um, we can keep it then. Otherwise, if there's some change that anyone would like to see or has any conflicts, we can discuss those as well. Okay. Um, so open discussion about this. I'm interested in hearing what your scheduling needs are. Uh, Jean, I'm seeing your hand up. Yes, yeah, since we have uh, attendance uh, with uh, Mayor DC, I'm just wondering if uh, specifically moving it to Wednesday, how that impacts um, city council, if that would be, you know, a day that is amenable to whoever is our city council liaison. That would actually be ideal for uh, most of us. Uh, we tended to keep our uh, particularly Wednesday mornings a little lighter because of the late nights we tend to face on Tuesdays. Um, and so I think that would actually be great because this is, I mean, the, the, this is the board we enjoy tending to and is not something that um, is one of our filled, uh, filled up days. So like Tuesdays and Fridays are some of the busiest days from council members' perspectives. Good, that's good to know, helpful to know. Um, on Wednesdays from, from your perspective, so you're saying Wednesday morning would be better or is just moving it to Wednesday useful? Uh, just moving it to Wednesday would be uh, would be useful. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, and I'm tr I'm trying to make this calendar bigger, but it's not working for me. What this is is the schedule of the boards and commission meetings, and I really wanted to purposely look at that as well, since um, we're going to be you know possibly transitioning to some in person um, meeting options. We do have to remain hybrid, which means we can have in person, but we must remain open to and have the ability to offer uh, virtual uh, virtual attendance as well. So in looking at some of the meeting, you know, meetings that are occurring Wednesday and really anything before four actually, uh, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that works with people's schedules. So um, I just wanted to point that out too. Yeah, thank you for that. Commissioners, what are your thoughts? What would you like to have happen? This is your big chance. Uh, 
This is Commissioner Duke. Um, my my schedule is flexible and I'm able to accommodate um, Tuesday or Wednesday um, to make a quorum for this meeting. That's good to know. I see Commissioner Tucci's hand up. Hi, so I could do um, the first or third Wednesday at like the 1.30 time. I work in Williams, but I'm usually back um, by then, by one o'clock. So if we need to move it to Wednesday, I would be okay with that. Tuesday, like any earlier, I'm usually with clients. Okay. Um, so you're saying Wednesday, the afternoon would be preferable? Correct. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, Commissioner Hardy. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, I think um, I could do Wednesdays um, if that would allow us to have a quorum. I would just, um, I might not be able to attend the meeting in July because um, I, I would just, I might need um, to move some things around. I don't know if I'd be able to, um, but August on, um, I'd be able to do that, I think. With, okay. I, with a little bit of um, notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so let me, uh, it's after, oh, Jean, I did, I missed you. I'm sorry. Please go ahead. I was kind of slow getting my hand up. Um, <laughs> one of the things we could do is um, have this uh, change in schedule begin in August to give everybody a whole month um, of getting ready for it. In other words, schedule it for the same time on um you know the july 19th as we've already said and then start the change in august um so um first i i forget what commissioner um uh tucci said uh first and third uh wednesday whatever it is i i think that extra month would accommodate people getting the change on their schedule that's a that's an interesting suggestion because uh, Commissioner Hardy would that help you make the transition? Do you think? Um, oh, thank you. That's really um, considerate, and thank thanks everybody for your flexibility. Um, I I don't think either way it should make too too big of a difference since the July meeting is um, a month away um, on on my end personally. So. Um, whatever is, works best for the group would be um, fine for me. Okay, well, that's that's helpful to know. I, um, you know, always at a time like this feel a speech coming on. I apologize in advance. But the um, attendance of every single one of us is really important for several reasons. Um, for, for one thing, I, I find it just to be disappointing to the point of pain when we have to uh, skip a meeting because of lack of quorum. I mean, we don't get anything done. We don't move anything ahead. We don't, um, you know, serve the diverse populations that we're here to serve if, if we can't even meet. And uh, so I think that it's really important to, to the best we can, to the extent that we can, to um, accommodate and promote the attendance of every single commissioner. I think that that the attendance of every single one of us at all of our meetings is really important. The other reason that it's important, of course, is because we all see things differently, and our participation, um, you know, we we bring our own diversity, and. Uh, to the table and I I really want that to happen as well. So I I want this to um I want our meeting date and time to accommodate every single one of us to the extent that it it's possible to do so. And uh, I just want you to know that that's my personal hope and goal. Um it sounds to me like it might be acceptable to keep our July 19th, 1.30 p.m. date. And then in August, go to the third Wednesday and um, 
and begin from there. Um, Mayor Daisy, you had something. Hi, thank you. Well, I just want to thank everyone for the uh, taking uh, some accommodations with this. And just so you know, uh, council is actually uh, off for July um, on break. Uh, well, aside from the July 5th meeting, but regardless, I'm, I just want to mention that uh, I should be able to be there for the July meetings, um, regardless of change. So I like this option to help uh, people. Um, yeah, transition to this, and that is that works really well for me as well. Oh, that's really so I helpful. Appreciate to know. the accommodations. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know that, Commissioner Hardy. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, yeah, that sounds um that sounds good to me. Um, if we um, and what I was thinking was then maybe in. July, what we could do is like, are we able to confirm with the other members? Um, I guess it's just, is it just Mar Marcella who isn't here? Um, are we able to confirm with um, Commissioner um, Pino that the Wednesday time would work? Or, or are we able to like communicate with her ahead of time that, um, you know, come August, that that's what the plan is? Um, Claire, this is Jessica. Mm -hmm. um, I had planned on reaching out. It's actually Mandy and Marcella, um, both of them after the meeting uh, pretty quickly just to like, um, you know, show the draft minutes um, and make sure they're aware of of how this discussion is going and, and that they see the recording um, and then just offer for them to, um, you know, kind of maybe either express any concern or um, I'll just offer for them to um, provide any input for the next meeting, the July meeting, if there is a big concern, maybe. Great, thank you so much, Jessica. Um, yeah, that then, um, I think that that, is this, um, does it do any of the other commissioners have anything else to add to, to the discussion on like the date and the time? Um, it's sounding like in, yeah, like just maybe pushing it to, um, or sorry, it sounds like, yeah, like um, it's sounding like maybe Wednesdays are going to be a good time for everybody. Yeah, and it'll be nice having that month transition too, just for those that aren't here today. Um, I guess my only clarifying question, so am I correct in stating that the intent is to change the meetings to the third Wednesday, keeping it the same third week of the month uh, for Wednesdays. And then if we're saying afternoon, I'll just throw out 1.30 start time since that's what we're currently doing. Or um, if there's some uh, something else that I've missed, let me know. Uh, thank you both. Uh, Commissioner Hardy, I really appreciate your comments. And uh, Jessica, I, I believe that I'm hearing the same thing that you are. Um, that. Uh, that we would meet at 1.30 p.m. on July 19th, which is a Tuesday, and then thereafter meet at 1.30 p.m. on the third Wednesday of the month. Um, it sounds like we, we, we haven't had a motion or voted on this yet, but uh, it sounds like we're moving toward consensus on this. It also sounds to me like it's um, perhaps pending uh, the um, input by our commissioners who are not here because if one of them was to say that they could never attend on a third Wednesday, we might have to revisit this, I suppose. Jessica? Um, so I might suggest, I know the agenda says to vote, but I think it would be appropriate if you felt so to hold off on vote until July or, you know, just kind of open to what you think would be best for, for voting um from yeah hmm. i'm i'm uh feeling like uh w without without knowing if we are uh completely omitting then two commissioners from commission meetings that um that voting might not be the best thing right now 
Um, so I, I would suggest that we put the voting for this, um, the, the final vote and all on the agenda for the July meeting. And, um, and Jessica, maybe you and I can talk about um, especially getting in touch with our two other members uh, so that in case one of them isn't there, that we at least know what their answer would be so that we can proceed on a, a vote or not at that time. Jean? I just wanted to express that I totally agree that uh, we should uh, postpone the actual voting uh, until after Jessica has, until next month, after Jessica has uh, contacted the two commissioners. Is that, a, is that a second, Chair Toner? Sure, yes. <laughs> Thank you. So we're, we're voting to um, put this on the July agenda and uh, finalize it later. Is that what we're, is that the, what's on our table right now? Just make sure I'm keeping up. Are all of the commissioners okay with that? Are you in favor of that? Aye. 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 Okay. Anyone less than okay with putting off the actual vote to July? Okay, it sounds like we have a plan. And it sounds like we have a fairly structured plan because we have um, an idea in mind of what we're going to do. It's not as open-ended as it was. Um, but with the flexibility still of um, making adjustments if we need to for the, for the other two members. So I appreciate that. And thank you to everybody. Um, also on this agenda item here, it says review current boards and commission meeting calendar. I think that's what you were showing us, right, Jessica? And um, So it does look like there is some availability with rooms at City Hall based on that calendar. Um, once we get our finalized day and time of the month, I want to start booking the rooms at City Hall, most likely the staff conference room upstairs. Um, and I hopefully will have an update at the July meeting, if not by August is my plan to have a room set aside for those that do want to meet in person. But again, we do need to remain hybrid. So that means in person with the virtual option. Okay. And we've always kind of had that. Um, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's actually higher tech than it was. But I remember people calling in and participating in meetings uh, when we were meeting uh, live before COVID. So um, this is, it's a good thing. It's a good thing so that we can always have a quorum and people can always be there, whether they're there in person or not. And uh, so in discuss, trans discuss transition to a hybrid format. Is there anything else that we need to know uh, Jessica, with the transition to hybrid format? No, just that I'll be learning a new skill set. I started my <laughs> first training on how to set up that room uh, er, for the virtual option. I have a second training in a few weeks. So um, once I feel confident with that technology, I'll probably feel a little more confident about offering that option. Um, but I'm I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, everybody begins at the beginning. We don't get to choose. Um, <laughs> that's the way that is. Okay, well, if there's anything that you need in, from any of us with uh, regard to trans making that transition, please let us know. Um, and ensure that all members are on board for the new meeting information and confirm commitment to attendance. So um, is, is there anyone here that as far as you know, and of course life changes sometimes, but as far as you know, uh, is, is everyone here available for the July 19th meeting date? And it would be yes. July 19th at 1.30. Yes. Okay, Commissioner, <clears throat> hold his hand up. Um, I should be available. I just wanna put out, there, put out there though in advance that um, I'm gonna be traveling um, okay. And I, my flight is, I'm scheduled to, to be back in time, um, 
but just because of like weather and it'll be like the week after um 4th of July um just if if I in encounter any travel delays I'll be sure to let um Jessica know and um, as soon as I know that if I if, if as soon as I know that I if I might not be able to make it in time um back into back into town in time um like if I have any flight delays or something um I'll just communicate that um okay. when I'm here. But hopefully it shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you'll you'll have safe travels and everything will go smoothly. And uh, and if there's a snag, I really appreciate your letting Jessica know. And and by the way, anyone else, if if there's a, a reason at the last minute that you can't attend, if you can get off a, a quick email to Jessica or something, so that we we know that uh, that there's a problem and you won't be there. That's also very helpful. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so it sounds like our July 19th meeting date will work. Um, reports and discussion items is the next thing on our agenda. I think we're ready to move on. Is there anyone else that needs to add anything before we do? Okay, so under reports and discussion items, proclamations, uh, we did, uh, the Pride proclamation was read at the May 31st council meeting and thank you Mayor Deasy for making that happen. Appreciate that. Um, and then uh, the CODA social event we have been talking about, that's something else uh, to consider. Um, is, I, I'm thinking that this may be as open for discussion. Is this something that we want to talk about? Does anyone have thoughts about it? Do you want to talk about having uh, a social event just so that we can all see and meet each other? I've never even seen several of you uh, in person. Um, so the idea of this would that it would be that it's not a meeting. There's not an agenda. We will not be discussing business or voting on anything. Um, but because there would be a quorum, it would need to be announced publicly that we would be meeting. And uh, it would be just a social get together somewhere so that we have a chance to get to know each other better. That's the whole purpose of it. Um, your thoughts. Commissioner Hardy. Um, is this, po is this um, another topic that maybe we could discuss um, when um, everybody is in the group together to to see what other what the other commissioners might be interested in. We can do that. Um, so we we'll just defer it until the July meeting. Yeah. Um, okay. but, uh, otherwise, I guess we could just like pick a, a date and time and location and see if um, if they're able to join. But it feels like it would be fun if we could all. Like, oh, I <laughs> if we could get a sense of a date and time, though, even if it's as far away as August, we can actually then perhaps agree on it at our next meeting um, to kind of move this forward because otherwise we just keep it on our agenda and it doesn't get anywhere particularly. I, I don't know if I, I'm actually wondering if there's interest, if all of those of you who are here would like to do this or if this is something that we should not be spending our time discussing. Um, what's your thinking? Yeah, that, that makes total sense. Um, I'd be interested in it and getting to like meet everybody in person. Um, if other people are like comfortable with that, especially if we're going to start um, meeting in person again um, or have the option to start meeting in person again. That's good to know. Uh, Commissioner Toner? Yeah, I'm very interested and I agree with Commissioner Hardy that we should, you know, finalize plans when all the commissioners are here. And um, I would also like to um, hopefully um, seek to uh, make it during the warm weather so that we can meet like in Wheeler or someplace outside, uh, you know, um, 
that's just uh, that's that's just my thought. And looking back to the last time we did this, we did it um, after work hours to accommodate because most of us were still working at the time. Uh, I think everybody else but me still is. You know? yeah. So uh, if we could do it after work hours and if people are amenable to uh, kind of an outdoor, you know, kind of picnic kind of thing um, or, you know, whatever, I, I, I would be open to that, too. So and uh, again, I agree with uh, Commissioner Hardy that we can kind of make final make more final plans when um, the other commissioners, the two commissioners are are back. Very good. OK. Commissioner Tucci. Yeah, I just wanted to say too that I um, I think it would be fun for everybody to meet, um, and now we should, you know, talk to the other commission members. Hopefully, they'll be here next month. That was all. Um, is there anyone who is in attendance now that has a restrictive schedule uh, that that should be considered uh, work hours? until whatever time or um, weekends are better or or after work is better or do we can we get a sense of that to begin with my work hours are pretty flexible i do work um but i uh, can usually morph my schedule especially in the later afternoon uh, so late afternoons for me are usually fine or weekends usually are okay. Um, is there anyone else that has issues with that? Uh, Commissioner Duke? This is Commissioner Duke. Um, I have open availability. I am, I am uh, being self-employed. I am committed on weekends, um, but with, with um, appropriate notice, I'm very flexible to accommodate most anyone's schedule. Okay. Thank you. That's very good to know. Commissioner Tucci. Um, Mondays and Tuesdays after normal work hours work best for me. I work evenings um, the rest of the week, but um, like Dan with enough notice, I can, um, I write my own schedule so I can make sure I'm available if a different night works for everybody else. My vote would be to accommodate um, uh, Commissioner Tucci's um, schedule. I'm thinking that too, Commissioner Toner. So we could be looking at a Monday or Tuesday at say, a Monday or Tuesday, I'm just gonna throw this out, say four to six as a, as a window of opportunity. Uh, that works best for the people that we know about now. And maybe keep that um, as an agenda item then for July. Am I summarizing this well enough as far as anyone can tell? Okay. That sounds accurate. If I had an input um, Tuesday, um, just kind of keep with the flow of our, you know, having Tuesday meetings as it is now. So that might kind of be easier for people to accommodate. Yeah, I was thinking as, as long as for everyone here right now, uh, that either Monday or Tuesday are acceptable, that we could uh, kind of have it narrowed to that more or less uh, as our suggestion and then bring that to our next meeting uh, for a starting point. And so Good. that would kind of help because we all have ruled out five days of the week. <laughs> it's gets getting closer, getting closer. Um, so does that work uh, just to start there next time? Uh, this is Commissioner Hardy. I think that that um, it sounds like a really good suggestion. Um, okay. But I really look forward to seeing everybody in real life <laughs> it would be fun right yeah, yeah it would be <laughs> okay i think so too um all right so uh for our next meeting then uh, as an agenda item um the discussion of a coda social event um that and our our 
suggestions on the table so far that we have not yet voted on are Monday or Tuesday, probably 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and while the weather's still warm. So that'll give us a, a few weeks of uh, at least of uh, planning time with that. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to discuss with that right now? I think that may be it for the moment. And then uh, also on our agenda are agenda items for future meetings that uh, actually we're not um, planning to get to today. We've got them on the agenda so that we don't forget about them and eventually uh, they will in good time come back to us. Um, we've, we've talked about uh, Chris, a criminal justice conversation with Flagstaff Police Department, a conversation with Downtown Business Alliance, um, civil rights. We've we've still got the equitable restroom recommendation, which has um, been heard by the city council and is in progress. And eventually, it will uh, come back. Um, municipal equity index. The I have not heard anything more from the renaming of the Peaks uh, Work Group. And um, we don't have any proclamations that are uh, due right now or in progress right now that I'm aware of. So with all of that said, I think that we have uh, finished our agenda for today. And it's not like us to finish after just an hour, but it's kind of nice once in a while to not run over time. And uh, if anyone, does anyone have anything to add or anything to uh, discuss about any of these that I'm not thinking of. Okay. So with that, I think I can adjourn the meeting. Um, adjourn the, it's 2.27 PM and I adjourn the meeting on the Commission on Diversity Awareness. And thank you all for being here. Really Thank you, everyone. everybody. Thank you, Chair. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, everybody. Happy Pride.